What's up tech enthusiasts, and welcome back. Today we're peeling back the layers on a product that's practically an open secret in the productivity world. The Logitech MX Master 4. This isn't just internet chatter anymore. Logitech themselves in a blink and you miss it moment, confirmed its existence on their own website, before quickly pulling it down. So, let's talk about the upgrades, the design tweaks, and the burning questions that still have the tech community on the edge of its seat. Watch till the end to get new updates. First off, design. Good news for fans, the iconic, super comfortable sculpted grip for right-handers is sticking around. Why mess with perfection, right? And yes, that satisfyingly smooth mag-speed electromagnetic scroll wheel, along with the horizontal thumb scroll, are both confirmed to return. They're hallmarks of the MX Master series, and vital for anyone navigating vast spreadsheets or long documents. But Logitech isn't just resting on its laurels, we're seeing some smart evolutions. The gesture button on the thumb rest now has a clear ring of small white dots, this might seem minor, but it's a brilliant tactile and visual cue, making that custom shortcut activation even more intuitive. And here's a big one for customization junkies, a brand new third thumb button. Placed just ahead of the classic back and forward buttons, this boosts the total programmable buttons to eight. Imagine the workflow possibilities, a dedicated button for AI tools, a specific macro, or instant app switching. This is a power user's dream come true. We're also hearing whispers of improved materials, hopefully addressing the wear and tear issues some users faced with rubberized parts on previous models. Now, let's address the elephant in the room that everyone's talking about, the polling rate. The MX Master 3S famously capped out at a humble 125 Hz. While fine for basic tasks, in 2025, with high refresh rate monitors becoming the norm even for productivity, that feels slow. Competitors are rocking 1000 Hz, even 8 kHz, offering buttery smooth responsiveness, the biggest question for the MX Master 4 is, will Logitech finally give us that much needed polling rate upgrade? This isn't just for gaming, it impacts everything from precise creative work, to simply feeling more connected to your cursor on a modern display. Other lingering questions include sensor improvements and the overall weight. While not a gaming mouse, a more advanced sensor and a slightly lighter design would be welcome additions, especially as other brands push the envelope in the ergonomic productivity space. As for pricing and release, nothing official yet, but expect it to be a premium device, likely in the $150 range, similar to the MX Master 3S. The leaks, and especially Logitech's brief mention, suggest an official launch is right around the corner. The Logitech MX Master 4 looks set to refine an already excellent formula, with smart ergonomic tweaks and that coveted extra button, but its ultimate success will undoubtedly hinge on whether Logitech truly listens to the community's call for a significant leap in polling rate and overall performance. Our expectations are high, what do you hope to see most from the MX Master 4? Let us know in the comments below. Peace out.